back with another yum box. Mm -hmm. This is November. <laughs> We're late. We're late. <gasps> Italy. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. All right. Greetings from Italy, birthplace of the world's most valuable painting. Yeah. And look at her. She looks like she's eating chocolate. Got chocolate smeared all around her face like I look mm -hmm. sometimes. Me and Mama. We got to change the scenery mm -hmm. because Mama was ready to go to sleep. <laughs> and she said, y'all got to get out of here. I go to sleep. She said, y'all ain't going to never get done. <laughs> yeah. said, okay. Fizzy lemon candy. Like Sprite in a hard candy. So if you like Sprite. I like Sprite. You might like this. Italians are fizz whizzes. Seriously. At restaurants in Italy, every tablet gets a bottle of fizzy water. You'd have to specifically... Not every tablet. I don't know why I say that. Every, every table. table gets a bottle of fizzy water. Oh. You'd have to specifically, which is hard for me to say, ask for non fizzinated Nate, to get still water. Mm. <laughs> in local markets, shelves overflow with an endless variety of seltzer flavors. Not to mention beloved soft drinks like lemon, gazoza, and orange aracanta. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know we can't pronounce these words. <laughs> and let's not forget... I can't even see it. Prosec <laughs> Prosecco. Considering the local fizz fascination, this fizzy lemon candy makes a lot of sense and will make you feel super, super bubbly. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, boy, we need some bubbly in our life. Hmm. Ooh, that locked my jaw. Ooh. They're pretty good. I like it. This is called Lemon and Pepper Terra Alini. I do not know. We have all that written right here. Italy's most iconic snack with a kick. Walk down a U.S. snack aisle and you'll see chips on chips on chips. The same is true in Italy, except with, I don't know, Terralina, Tarellini, I don't know. Okay. These crunchy bread spirals are an Italian go-to available in countless flavors. We're not exaggerating. When putting together the spots, we tried rosemary, coffee, and even egg varieties before we fell in love with this lemon and pepper one with sweet citrus and a kick of cracked pepper this terra lini is totally top notch huge these little things that little donut they don't, oh, oh, man. of course she dropped hers <laughs> there's a lot of little round donuts y'all kind of thick hold them in her hand they look like an oversized cheerio they do that's exactly what they look like Mm-mm. Go, go. I don't like it. Woo! I don't like that. Right now, I can taste the pepper, pepper of it. I don't really taste the lemon. I taste a little bit of it. Yes, I do. I taste the lemon. Got this. I can't, but... You can taste that pepper. Italian black truffle potato chips. Italy's world-famous truffles new in a chip. Italy didn't get its reputation as a global food capital for nothing. The proof is in the pizza, the pasta, and even the potato oh, chips. Yes. That's why we're kicking off our Italian adventure with these. What's so special about them, you ask? The, the answer lies in the flavor of black truffle. Prize for their earthy tang, these gourmet fungi are basically Italy's version of buried treasure. No, really. They grow underground. Mm. Locals spend hours scoring forests with trained dogs in the hopes that they'll sniff some out. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> Just that's interesting. <laughs> okay. All the effort is worth it as they're one of the most valuable foods in all of Italy. Oh. A 3.3 pound one from Tuscany, Tuscany. Tuscany once sold for $330,000. I feel all that pepper right here in my mouth. <laughs> me too, <man. laughs> Getting down my throat. <laughs> Fortunately, you don't need trained dogs or over a quarter of a million dollars to discover Italy's most highly coveted flavor. You just need to open this bag, dig in, kick our delicious Italian adventure into high gear. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, they stink. <laughs> They're strong smelling. I thought I was going to open up chocolate or something. No, it's a chip. I know, but black truffle. I know truffle is a chocolate, a but you must have the go. taste of a truffle. That's what it looked like. It's like a chip, but...
Y'all, listen to this. Ketchup potato chips. Okay, I want to say something. Fun I fact. I like ketchup. Fun fact about me. I love to dip my ketchup. <laughs> I love to dip my potato chips in ketchup. Like when I'm I eating don't. a hamburger or a hot dog and I have and I have chips, I do dip my ketchup. I do dip my chips into ketchup, but I've never had a ketchup. Well, you would probably chip. love these. An extra crispy tag on the classic condiment. I love ketchup. I really do love ketchup. <laughs> Why are you laughing at Because you just say that again. I love <laughs> I ketchup. I do love ketchup. She does love ketchup. Used to do. hamburgers, hot dogs, all she gets ketchup. I yeah. like ketchup more than I used to like ketchup. Mama don't like ketchup. Mama don't like ketchup. She loves tomatoes. Yeah. I love ketchup and I don't like tomatoes. Mm. That's not like weird. Both. Okay. 30 years ago, potato chips were scorned in Italy without the traditional appeal of terrace, terra, I don't know, and biscotti. They had zero footing in the snack market until best friends Alfredo Morate and Andrea Romano came along with the mission of bringing chips to Italy. They started their business. Amica producing both traditional flavors and totally new ones like ketchup. Before we tell you if they succeeded or not, we think you should try a chip or two. Okay, you've had some great news. You just tasted the current number one chip brand in Italy. You can smell the ketchup. I'm not kidding. I open that bag and it smells just like a bottle of Heinz ketchup or whatever kind of ketchup you eat. Ooh, it smells just like a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> I feel like this chair again. I'm excited about tasting it though. I mean, oh, cause, oh yeah. look at them. I mean, they're just They look like, like barbecue potato chips. They do. It smells like a cheap oh. uh, uh, ketchup. Now, <laughs> she loves ketchup, and she loves chips, and she likes chip regular, put regular chips in ketchup. It don't taste like that. It's not that great. It's okay. And the lingering taste is no. <laughs> That's not. Tina, we wouldn't make it in Italy. <laughs> we would. We would. We would be skinny. I would be a little skinny in Italy. Orange zest carrot cake. Now, if you like carrot cake, you like carrot cake. You don't like carrot cake, do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this it? I could eat carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. orange carrot. Um, I don't like carrots. Marvelous <laughs> moist carrot cake with citrus Salt. zing. Okay. You've probably you're probably familiar with carrot cake. Well, <laughs> really, just one version of carrot cake loaded with spices and nuts and topped with cream cheese frosting. Yummy. And cream cheese. But I then like there's it. Italian style carrot cake. Okay. <laughs> free of all the balls. I mean, <laughs> free of all the bells and whistles. <laughs> Italy's take highlights to the natural sweetness of the carrots with just a dash of orange zest. Get ready to discover a whole new kind of carrot cake craving. Okay. So, in other words, this don't have the good old cream cheese in it, I don't think. Hey, it looks like that. Looks like it's got some kind of cream in it, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. I just have to say, so far, that's the best of all that that's we've tasted. That's the best that we've tasted. It tastes good. You can definitely taste the you can taste zest. The zest. I don't zest. know about the carrot. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. But I do taste the in the orange zest is in there. Is it? Yes. Or lemon zest. What was it? Orange zest. Yeah, you can taste that. That's not bad. That's good. It's pretty good. All right, next. It's not a strong taste. No, it's actually. I have to say, it's pretty good. I could eat it. I could too. It's not strong. <laughs> Oh, we got some hazelnut, y'all. Oh, boy, I like that. I love hazelnut. You know, we can't get out of this without doing hazelnut. I know. We got, I think, I'm going to love it, Tony. Whatever that went. Where is it? Ready? Y'all, you go ahead and practice Hazelnut. <laughs> she said, go ahead and practice it. <laughs> hazelnut milk chocolate bar. Fall in love with Italy's number one chocolate bar. If we're talking hazelnuts, there's no better place in the world to go than the Piedmont region, uh, region of northern Italy. The native... Hazelnuts are prized for their excellence. They're smaller, sweeter, and nuttier than most grown in Turkey or the United States. That might explain why this rich chocolate bar filled with the brim with roasted Piedmont hazelnuts is the top selling chocolate bar in Italy and why we're fully addicted to it. Right. Okay. Analyze like hazelnuts. Analyze hazelnuts. I like hazelnuts. Oh, it's, mm, that looks, that looks scrumptious because it's 
Here. Oh, it's chocolate. I'm out fingers. I can't open it. I've got a sore thumb. She said she's all fingers. It's all thumbs. It's all thumbs. <laughs> I like it's chocolate. It's like a chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's uh, it's you can break it off, but we're we're just gonna share this. Okay, break piece. that off, and we'll share that piece. It's like you can break it off like that. Yeah. We'll there it Wait a minute. That's soft. I was spitting that to be hard. It's all over my fingers. Full of nuts. I didn't get not one nut. The chocolate's good. There's the nut right there. Tina's nut fell. My <laughs> nut fell. <laughs> I didn't get not no nut. That is good. Tina good. said she didn't get any nuts in her little piece there. I got them all. I, I think I got about three of them. Well, you know, it's not extra sweet either. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The chocolate is really good. And the nut's really good. We opened that candy bar. I thought it was going to be hard. But it was so soft you could have mashed it with your fingers. Amaretina. I don't know. Go right, right The tastiest almond cookie in all of Italy. I like almonds. Italy. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Italy. Sorry. Ready for the world's tastiest love story? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The tale behind these classic cookies began in 1719. <laughs> Serrano, when a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting their church, wanting to prepare him a treat. They imp improvised a cookie recipe using just the apricot kernels, sugar, and egg whites they had on hand. The colonel loved them so much so he blessed the couple to a long, happy union. Not only did they stay happily hitched, their cookies went on to become an Italian icon. So are you feeling the love? Feeling Better it. Better yet, are you tasting it? They look like I oh, do that cookie crisp cereal. They do, but look, kind of shaped with a point like a kisses. Like a kissy thing. Ooh, they smell. They And that didn't. I don't care for it. <laughs> this is the last one out of this box. Now this come in the little little treat bag thing. Tiramisu cream milk chocolate balls. Now we'll love this. <laughs> the beloved dessert just got even more luscious. Every modern Italian restaurant serves tiramisu. But in the early 1960s, it was only served by one. Le Bruchere in Cervicio, I don't know. Ooh. According to legend, owner Ada Capo was recovering from childbirth when she asked the pastry chef to whip up a pick-me-up. So he combined ladyfingers, mascarone cheese, I'm going to that out, and cocoa powder, creating tiramisu, which literally means pick-me-up. Every combination became an overnight icon, which you will get to taste this luscious chocolate filled with coffee-infused cocoa cream. Mm -hmm. We cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You put the whole thing in her mouth. Hmm. This is chocolate, chocolate. You can taste the coffee. And I love coffee. Hmm. That is good. You can taste the coffee in that. That's pretty good. I have to say that was good, y'all. Okay, that would conclude our yum box from For Italy. November. Yep, from November. We have another yum box, mm -hmm. which is December. We're gonna do that one next. So you'll be seeing that after this. Okay. Bye, y'all.